one product that has had an absolute breakout year is Teams. But to show you what's possible with Microsoft 365 Teams and pretty much the entirety of the stack I talked about this morning, I wanted to invite up Dr. David Kellerman to show you all of this at work. G'day everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about teamwork and collaboration with 500 students on and off campus. In fact, this is my own class of engineering students. So here's a challenge. How do you get 500 students to work together as a single team, as a learning community? I switched to Microsoft Teams. But you know what? I actually created my own problem. We couldn't keep up with all of the questions. Well, meet QuestionBot. QuestionBot is a bot that we created in order to solve this problem. And it was built by partners who are right here today, Antaro Solutions. Working closely with Microsoft, Cloud Collective brought best of breed technologies um, to solve at times quite complex business and technical challenges. The key part of the solution was to build a bot within the framework of Office 365 rather than just isolated in a forum. So for example, that bot, when you ask a question, is able to build a knowledge base which essentially is it learning and being able to answer questions itself in the future. We then extended the platform's capabilities uh, by providing more insights, engagement and dashboard and reporting capabilities for each of the students. So I used Q&A Maker, a cognitive service on Azure, in order to train the AI of the bot. So there's another problem. A lot of students would upload photos for their questions. And there's no context. So I started putting QR codes on all of the learning material. And remember those lecture recordings that were on stream? Well, it's a SharePoint asset. It's able to search the transcript. And if the answer to a student's question happens to be in the lecture, it can deliver a time-stamped video link to the exact second. So using Graph API and Bot Framework, we built and deployed this with just one developer in eight weeks. How can we turn all of that data into new material? In fact, by integrating all of these systems, I have very highly structured data on SQL. And I can create a one-click Power BI dashboard for students to get their marks. So I used 2017 data to train an Azure machine learning model to correlate all of the information against student performance. We automatically assembled 500 individual personalized optimized study packs for every student based on the prediction of not only their exam result, but their exam result for every individual question two weeks before sitting it. Pretty cool, right? And so what we've been able to do with that is mark complex engineering drawing. We've actually found errors in human marked assignments as well. So we've built a learning community, right? And doing that, we managed to achieve a satisfaction ratio of 99%. And that's because we're personalizing the experience for every student. We're actually able to identify at-risk students by week four of the course. I reach out personally to every one of those at-risk students and say, hey, how can I help? And what about that challenge? 500 students working together as a team. Well, I ask them, do you feel part of a learning community? 100.0 said yes. Whenever I'm stuck on a question, I know that there's always an answer to be found on Teams. The Cloud Collective was the first recommendation by Microsoft Australia for this particular project. And Tara's are the group there that I have worked with on a lot of the development and there's some fantastic people there. They've been really great in terms of not just delivering what I ask for, but actually having a conversation, being part of the brainstorming, the design, and dealing with lots of problems that you just can't possibly imagine, especially on a project like this where we really are doing something that's never been done before. 